Hi, I'm Dr. Fertice Berry, and I have to tell you the story. I don't want to tell it. I have to tell it. My mother was an amazing woman. She was the very definition of transformation. She evolved from an abusive alcoholic into the most amazing earth light, earth mother, earth spirit anyone ever encountered. She used to tell me that the reason she was able to change is because I allowed her to change. Um, but I, I still kind of think about the times that I just wouldn't even um, interact. I, I went away to college and said I was staying away. I couldn't put up with the abuse and the pain and the suffering any longer. And until there was a change, I wasn't coming back. And then one day she wrote to me and said, I'm changing. I miss you. And like any good Christian who prays for a thing, when the thing happens, we doubt it. And I doubted it until she continued to show me that she was who she said she was. And she was. And she lived with me. And she was funny and bright and smart and light. And it was not until after she died that I knew her full story. I knew that she had been raised by her grandparents. I knew that somewhere around the age of 12, her mom came and took her and took her out of school and made her go to work. But I didn't know the other things that were involved in that. My grandmother was very light in color and had passed. And, and then when my mom came to live with her, my mother thought this was some social worker taking her away from her real parents. But she found out that that was her mother. Huh. So my mom was forced to go to work and she loved to read and she loved to learn, but she was forced to work. And I found out after she died from the journals that she'd left me, she told her story and she had been forced to work um, in the homes of people who abused her and raped her. And one undertaker would take her down into the morgue, his morgue, and, and would rape her on the slab. And she said that there was a cat that would watch and she said the cat wouldn't tell anybody. This is what she wrote. And in her mind, she could see herself as a child seeing this cat. And for the rest of her life, my mother hated cats. She grew beyond the pain and she grew beyond the suffering and she grew beyond the anguish. And she gave me all the love that she could give. And then on the day she died, she gave me the gift that makes me so happy and it makes me who I am. She said, I am going to take all of the generational baggage, the hurt, the shame, the things that happened to me, my mother, her mother, and her mother before her. I'm packing it up and I'm taking it with me to the other side. I'm leaving you a clean slate. She told me that when I went out to speak to other people who were doing more for others than they did for themselves to let them know that she and the ancestors every day were leaving us a clean slate and every day we'd get to start new. Today, I want you to think about what your parents and their parents and their parents may have endured. And I want you to realize that they work through some things that you don't have to work through and that even though we keep repeating stuff we have the power of our ancestors behind us so when we stand you're not just seeing me you're seeing my mother and her mother and her mother my father and his father and his father and never again never again shall we be denied who we are, how we are, what we are, and what we will be for you and for everybody else on this planet. We've been set free.